Hey, Monty, congrats to you. Welcome aboard. And uh, how excited are you to join the Titans? And what do you think you bring to the team? Man, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I've been waiting on this moment since I was a kid. And, you know, it's, it's, it's special. Like, you know what I'm saying? 1%. 1% of college athletes or, you know what I'm saying, even get a chance to even, you know, be a part of the NFL draft. And I'm just blessed. And, you know, it was, it was more for my family than anything. But um, I'm going to come to work every day and, you know, live good, live right on and off the field and just do what I'm supposed to do to help the team win. Glennon? Monty, what do you think your uh, your greatest strengths are uh, as a player, and and what are you looking to uh, to work on as you take your game to the next uh, level here? Um, I can call the defense. I can run. I can hit. I can cover. You know, I can do what a three down linebacker needs to be able to do. So, you know, I just think that um, you know, in today's NFL, you got to be able to run and hit at linebacker. So, and I think I do a pretty good job of that. But you know, you can always get better. Teresa. Monty, welcome to uh, Tennessee. Uh, what did the Titans tell you to kind of expect uh, it when they bring you in to get work, uh, get to work? You said when? What did they tell you to expect oh. to do and what do they want you to be focused on when you do get here and get ready to work? You know, um, I think they're just ready to get to work and, you know, help me be a better football player. Uh, and, you know, you know, just, you know, perfect my craft at a, um, at a high level and just do whatever I can do to, you know, be a better player. And I think that starts with, you know, staying in the weight room, staying strong and, and um, mastering the playbook. Terry. Terry, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Uh, Monty, uh, can you talk a little bit about the uh, the defensive scheme that you played at Georgia, what kind of role you had there, and how that translates to uh, playing at the next level? Uh, you know, at Georgia, we got the most complex defense in, in, the, in, in college football, you know. So I feel like I'm ready for whatever as far as, far as playbook-wise just because I'm able to, like, you know, l learn any new defense because at Georgia we learned it all, so – you know, I'll be prepared for that in that aspect. But, you know, Tennessee's defense obviously will be a little different or whatever. So it's going to be important, you know, to be able to adapt and, you know, do whatever they need me to be, do whatever they need me to be able to do. David Beauclair. Monty, it sounds pretty quiet there at your place. Has it has it been low key today? Did you not have a no. big party or what? No, it's definitely a huge party. I just had to come in here. Or I wouldn't be able to do the Zoom. So how many how many people do you have there? Who who all did you include in this day? It's, you know, it's main, I'm a big family guy, so it's mainly the fam. And, you know, I got some friends here, but I consider them family too. So um, I can't give you a number. There's probably about – there could be about 50 people here. That's just me, you know, saying a number. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm a big family guy. So I'll just, you know, this is, this is not a win – this is not a win for Monty. It's a win for the Rice fam, you know, my whole family and, you know, and, and everybody else that's helped me because um, I've had, like, outside sources, you know. By outside sources, I mean, like, um, other families have helped me get to this point. Like, you know, they've sacrificed, you know, their time and their money and their, their, um, their household, you know, to help me be able to be the person I am today. So I want to thank them as well. Kayla. Hey, Monty. Well, welcome to Nashville. I'm just curious, how much interest did you feel like the Titans had in you? How much conversation did you have with John Robinson and Mike Vrabel? And then um, what do you think about a guy like Mike Vrabel? I mean, he's a defensive guy, head coach here that has um, kind of put his, his name out there on the map and um, a big personality as well as a coach. Man, you know, you know at, at Georgia, I, I play for a defensive guy. You know, so I think I love like playing for defensive guys because they love the game. Like, you know, it, it, it's 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 hard to love defense because the defense, you got to practice, you got to do it over. Like it has to be perfect. It takes a lot of reps and it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of thought and it takes it's a process on defense. So, 
Uh, and, you know, he was good at what he did, you know, when he was, he was a linebacker as well, Ohio State and in the league for a long time. So, you know, I'm glad to be able to be coached by a guy like that and, you know, get some uh, – I'll be able to get a lot of intel and, you know, information from him because he's already done it. John Glennon. Just to tag along with that, that question, Monty, um, did you hear a lot from the Titans uh, leading up to the draft? Did you figure that they were, you know, one of the teams that were likely to uh, to pick you? Man, honestly, I had no idea because I honestly thought it was going to be the Lions, to be honest with you, but it wasn't. But, um, yeah, I, I, I talked to, like, Coach Brabel and the linebackers coach, and I talked to their player development guys, like, last week. So it was, like, a couple of days in a row where I was hearing from people at Tennessee, so – you know, that was a sign, but, you know, nothing's for, you know, certain. 